seals are good, oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. Right, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella? I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with a breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? Huh. Reams of red tape.
Benning, if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up. Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Shout out what I need you. Now they sucker you to join. Fall for the fancy family. I'm busy. Anyone else to bother? They're ready for us. Get back up here. Uh, Come I think on. We'll be done here. It's time. Soon. You're with me. Oh, I hear this is the last dig. And here we go. In three, two, one. starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. We're getting close. I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> well, in, seriously. Uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you. You're up. Something goes wrong in there. We'll come get you. Uh... Why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way.
Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar?
You know, a lot of outfits would see a criminal record like yours and turn you away. We certainly took a chance with you. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? It's our payday, that's what. Sooner we get it off our hands, the sooner it isn't our problem anymore. Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else, probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Our constellation contact is on approach. Wait. The explorers group? Thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated Whoa, enough? Oh, you don't look Not good. Not to them, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Client is here. Let's go. Once we sell that rock, we can start packing up. Everything went cool. Just 
Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy. Kazan, I know Barrett. Not cool. She passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right? Went on a trip, huh? <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit.
You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. Hey, um, I wasn't gonna bring it up, but we don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head, and Constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but she's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as she touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Now that we've been attacked... Oh, we've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Don't you get it? You don't have a job here anymore. You're with those explorers now. Like it or not. Just go, all right? Figure out what happened to you when you touched that rock. Well, now that that's settled... Vasco! Get her to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Get that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. And Vasco, don't let her break my ship! <laughs> We're still in one piece. Oh, God. I'm gonna throw up.
just up the ramp, Captain. I'll be in the external robotics bay.
Ultimate's ready. The rest is up to you. Into 
this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates.
have arrived in orbit the abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet. The captain is on the surface. dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups typically one or two people, or like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. The membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos. So technically you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. Without your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. Commencing item exchange protocols.
Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. of smaller independent pirate crews all flying under the same banner. They are typically unscrupulous and violent. Curious, these are United Colonies markings, but we are in the increase of objective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility.
kidding me? The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The Frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. If he were here, Barrett would say he was proud of you for asking that. The answer is no. Open fire! You got a dead twist hot up here. It is not primary.
Captain. To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long.
What? No bear? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Your memory is uncanny. And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo.
The Trade Authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoints. I would try to viewport. It'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Hey. I'm glad I finally caught up with you. I'm from the Trackers Alliance. We have a proposal for you. Good. Because what I'm about to tell you could change the course of your life. The Trackers Alliance has been following your exploits and believe you have what it takes to join our ranks. You're being invited to our new headquarters in Aquila City. There you'll meet with Agent Number One. If you decide to consider our offer, they'll guide you through our initiation process. I'd expect you do. What if you do? Well, I would hope that you'd seriously consider our offer. It doesn't matter to me. Free to make your own choices. I found you, I delivered my message, so my job here is done. If you have any inclination of being a bounty hunter, then this is the best deal you're going to get. I'm not here to convince you. I've just been instructed to deliver the message. Your questions will be best answered by Agent Number One at the HQ. There's a reason for that. It used to be on a remote planet on a remote part of the galaxy. Agent number one decided that it would be better if we had more of a public presence. So we purchased the old McCall estate and turned it into our headquarters. Excuse me. Don't go just yet. As I was saying, if you wish to join us, you will need to go speak with Agent Number One at the new Trackers Alliance headquarters in Aquila City. Wonderful. I appreciate you hearing me out. I'll be heading out soon if there's nothing more. Remember, Trackers Alliance HQ in Aquila City. Speak to Agent Number One. Captain, Constellation will be waiting for you at the Lodge.
attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> Uh, we'll ju uh, we'll just... <laughs> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM-1327-HCHA. I was the station officer. Ugh, wish that bartender at the viewport would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. again. Can I get you something? Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new girl? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Well, that's what I'm here for. What'll it be? I hear there's some sort of citizens group trying to get the old Varun embassy torn down. When I first heard about it, I thought it was a bit extreme, but really, would you want to move into that place? Me neither. And it's not like they're ever coming back. House Varun, I mean? Well, at least not make nice and be all diplomatic. We all know how that went. Catch you later. Hey there, new girl. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Stop by any time you'd like to catch up. Hey there, new girl. Good to see you again. Can I get... Yep, spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous. 
galaxy-wide. You would love it, I guarantee. Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. I made a deal with a holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else... I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh... with me on this? God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. See you around.
stop by anytime you'd like to catch up. Hey there, new girl. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. See you around. Hey there, new girl. Hope life is treating you well. Yep. I've got some. You would love it. I, I made a deal with a holler, to, but it never showed up. Security guy. I submitted all the... And really? I need to get my hands on that card. I really do. Before we say... I am in no way asking you to do... This is just one friend. And if... Hypothet... You, uh... God, you have... I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I'm not worried. I'm... Wait, are you saying I should be worried? Catch you later. Good to see you. Hey, this really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. There's something I can help you with? Oh, security impounded a ton of cargo and didn't have storage space for it all, so we're holding on to some of it until they can run inventory. So, you need something, or... Yeah, I can't really just let you in there. I'm not falling for that. You're not getting past me. You don't know what you're talking about. Look, I'd like to help, but... Uh, 
<sighs> I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. You think that means you can push me around? Not likely. I'm gonna need you to clear out of here, or else I'll have to call security. It's really not. Keep your eyes open and watch your step, okay? Try and be careful, okay? Don't want a ship landing on your head.
Okay, hello. I don't want to sound desperate, but any luck finding my cargo? Hey there, new girl. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. You know, I had a guy in here last week ranting that General Shao ought to send the Marines down into the well. I'm usually all for letting folks speak their mind. Most times it can't be helped after a few drinks. But that was just too much. Anybody stuck living in the well, it almost certainly isn't by choice. And things down there aren't that bad. Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. You really do love your jokes. You are joking, right? Well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever sample. On top of that, you get free drinks. Not, not like unlimited free drinks. But you want a little pick-me-up now and then? I got you covered. I need some time to work on what comes next. But this? This was the difficult part, I think. Really? Thank you so much. See you around. Excuse me. You see that scientist out in front of Mast, staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? is here in the city. We shouldn't keep Constellation waiting. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing, or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power.
The following is a public service message to anyone residing in or visiting United Something to report? I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. I am not staring, I am analyzing. This is important xenobiological work. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? A mercenary, huh? Well, I'm sure we can work something out. So, are you on board? Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. <laughs> 